it'll happen, but what is going to happen when they say it's going to happen is two different things, isn't it? We want the fight. We'd probably fight tomorrow. Tyson's ready now. Tyson's never stopped training. He's been in the best shape of his life for weeks now, you know, and he's uh, tunnel visioned because he wants to prove himself, which he already has, in my mind. He doesn't have to beat AJ to prove to me he's the best in the world. He's already done it. He's beat every danger man out there in their own backyard. My son can win abroad. And that's something a lot of people can't do, including AJ. No disrespects, man. But that's the truth. Facts are facts. So for the past few weeks, it's looked like everybody from the AJ camp and the Fury camp want this fight to happen. The only odd man out being Tyson Fury. And here we have John Fury joining the the one in the fight to happen club. Says Tyson's fit, Tyson's ready. But one thing he doesn't mention is, you know, how, how Tyson is doing mentally, which is what we're all concerned and worried about, you know. But without even being prompted, without being asked about his mental state, he kind of addresses it <laughs> with the next question the interview asks him. Just check it out. I think after that Klitschko when you said, that's that, he's hit the, the top of the mountain. Not really, you know, because uh, when he fought Klitschko, he, he had mind, mind problems, mental health issues going into the fight. You know, at one stage, we looked like pulling the fight and calling it off completely, the state of mind he was in, but we knew he wouldn't get another shot. So we thought, well, listen, we'll put it in the act in the lap of God. And God give us the right direction to take the fight. And we've done the right thing, you know, and we got the win. But from there, he went downhill a bit for a few years, as you well know. But these things have to happen to bring us to where we're at today with a two time lineal WBC champion of the world. What's had every belt there is, including AJ's, you know, which they're not really is. I think they never took him off Tyson. Tyson, to get your belts properly, you got to win them in the ring, you know, which he did. Fair play to AJ. You said a lot there. You said a lot there, John. He said quite a bit. Gave us quite a bit there. Firstly, Hearing the question, the interview, I think that I think that was Umar Ayafel Umar. Hearing the Umar Ayafel Umar questions, he never asked him anything about um, Tyson's mental state leading in leading up to the the Klitschko fight. That was never brought up. He brought that up, which in turn tells us that Tyson is probably going through similar things right now. Well, we knew this anyways. I've been making videos about this from a month ago, telling you guys Tyson is worried. So, yeah. Um, John wasn't asked about Tyson's mental state, but he gave us an insight into Tyson's mental state leading up to the Klitschko fight. He tells us Tyson was going for it, but you know, if we saw how he was acting during the build-up and everything, he seemed like he was the one playing mind games with Klitschko. Well, he might have gotten to Klitschko's head, but he was going through a lot himself leading up to it. But you wouldn't tell because he managed to mask it quite well back then. But now, I think now it's quite it's a different scenario. He's clearly going through whatever he's going through again. But the difference now is everybody knows it's quite obvious. I'm not just going to um, give the full credit to AJ saying Tyson is completely scared of AJ. I think it's partly to do with that. He is worried about AJ. But, you know, just Tyson's got, he's got demons. So he's... He's battling with those right now. Let's just hope he gets over whatever's going on and is able to jump in the ring and be the best he can be, basically. I'm still not giving any excuses if he jumps in the ring. I don't care about any of that because we never spoke of his uh, mental state leading to the Klitschko fight when he won. We just said, hey, he's great. He won. He beat up Klitschko. Well, he didn't beat him up. He, he nicked the victory. So, yeah. We're not gonna um, give him any excuses if he gets knocked out by AJ saying, "Oh, we we saw how he was dealing with, how he was battling with his mind leading up to the fight." That's not happening. If he's battling with his mind, go battle with your mind. Don't come into this AJ battle with those issues. Just go deal with yourself. Go sort them out, and then the fight can take place afterwards when you feel ready. I mean, it's not ideal. As badly as I want to see the fight, that's not ideal whatsoever. But you know. If the guy's not ready, I don't, I don't want a cheap win. I don't, I don't roll like that. I don't want a cheap win. If he feels in his heart of hearts, he's not prepared. I think he should go, yeah, go deal with whatever's going on, because you can't have every single member of your team being so optimistic about the fight, but him. 
well, yeah, that that's that doesn't seem right. I don't, nothing's right about that to me. It's just, yeah, is Tyson being bullied to take the fight? Could be. Is Kinahan got something to do with this? <laughs> and also, just to address some something, um, John mentioned there that a lot of the Fury fans run with about it's it's Tyson's belt. AJ has got Tyson's belt. It's, that's just ridiculous. That, what do you mean it's Tyson's belt? So who's who's the, who's the WBC belt? Who's, whose belt is that? Is that is that um, Vitali's belt? Vitali never lost his belt. The main event picked up a vacant belt, which Wilder beat the, the main event for, and then Fury beat Wilder for. So do the Klitschko fans pop up now and say that's um, Vitali's belt? Tyson's got Vitali's WBC belt because Klitschko never lost his belt in the ring. You got beat Vitali for that belt. So yeah, is Vitali the WBC champ today? Is Tyson Fury the WBC champ today? What what are we doing? You can't have it one way and then for AJ it's one way. It's Tyson spell before Tyson he's the WBC champ. It's, it's the, exactly the same thing. Tyson retired just like Vitali Klitschko retired. The only difference is Vitali retired once. Tyson retired about twenty times. So Tyson was retired, 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 retired. He was really retired. So yeah, life goes on. We don't wait for Tyson to come back and then we say, oh, he's the real, he's not no real champ. He has to prove himself. He's the WBC champ, yes, but he's not the IBF champ. He's not, not the WBA champ. He's not the WBO champ. He's not, he's not even the IBO champ. So, yeah, drop all that crap. It's not no, it's Tyson's belt. That's childish. That's just childish. Tyson has to fight for the belt. Just like you said, come fight for the belt. You lost them, come fight for the belt. Simple as. I'm not even gonna gonna be cheap and say Tyson's mentally weak or anything of that sort because this is quite a serious. It's a serious issue that a lot of men go through, a lot of a lot of people go through. You know, it's quite common these days, and awareness has been raised over the past few years in society. So the taboo is not really there per se. But I guarantee you, if AJ had these bouts like Tyson does. <laughs> Weak, weak man, weak, weak, weak man. No heart, you name it, you name it. And Tyson will be right in front of that queue. We all know this. It's it's so funny um, how people tend to say um, Tyson going to Klitschko's head prior to the fight. He well, which I guess he did. I guess he did. But in the same time, who knew? Well, well, I guess his team knew. Tyson and his team knew, but. The general public we didn't know Tyson was actually in Tyson's head Tyson was in his own head leading up to that fight <laughs> that's quite revealing because now yeah, basically to me if I were AJ the jig is up if I were any other Tyson future opponent the jig is up like we know you we all know you now you can jump around and scream and shout and do all of that you can put on whatever costume you want to put on we all know you're mentally fragile. You're battling with a lot <laughs> mentally, so you don't have it all together up there. It's clear, everybody knows this now, so you can do all you want to do, but at this point, you'd have to be Deontay wild or dumb for this guy to be able to mentally control you in any form or fashion because, especially this AJ fight, John Fury has literally just told us well, not literally, but he's and in a roundabout way he told us that Tyson is having mental mental issues at the moment because if you put two and two together why is he telling us about the Klitschko fight and what he was battling leading up to the Klitschko fight he wasn't even asked that question and also you've seen Tyson's up and down random comments he's been making over the few months so it's quite clear this guy is yeah he's dealing with some stuff at the moment so AJ needs to find a way of exploiting that if that, those contracts get signed. If this fight gets announced, AJ has to be the Man King King this time around. He has to attempt that, in my opinion. If he comes out all aggressive and, and all normal Tyson Fury-ish, gently remind him, we all know you now. We all know. We know you. So yeah, just ignore him and give him a gentle reminder. As always, full stand in the comment section below like subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell so you get your quick fix i'm out